All right, so I wanted to update you all on the state of the printer. So, um, these fans have been hooked up. Those are amazing. I mean, this, w okay, first of all, one fan has been hooked up. The I need a splitter so I can have them both. But one of these fans produces more air than that entire thing there, which is pretty cool because, uh, yeah, I really haven't had any cooling on this printer. Um, the new bed is amazing. Um, the new bed surface is okay. I mean, obviously parts stick to it, but it sticks to parts really well. Um, so this is just a PEI sticker. I think it's like a half mil thick or something. Like, it's really, really thin. Um, it's not the 3M 9085. It, this is the, what is it, the 467 MP adhesive, and it's just, it's not good enough. Like, as soon as I heated it up, this is, that's where all these air bubbles came from. Um, I don't know. I don't know what to do about it. If you guys have any ideas, uh, let me know. But other than that, um, this fan being a blower now, so it, you know, doesn't blow into the build plate, it blows out that way. And, uh, that insulation pad on the bottom of here, like, this thing is amazing. Like, it heats up just fine, it maintains temperature just fine. That fan blowing directly on it doesn't seem to affect it. Uh, the insulation pad hasn't caught fire. I just wouldn't expose it to an open flame, or it probably will. But, um, being that this heater is not an open flame, and it doesn't really get that hot, or at least it doesn't go anywhere near the uh the temperature that insulation's rated for i think it's fine um other news i got a new revo heater um, my old one was the old style revo heater without the blue wires or whatever but basically it was broken i mean that thing just like Basically, the way I could describe it is, like, you'd change the temperature and it would just, like, delay. Like, it wouldn't know what the temperature was for a solid, like, three to five seconds sometimes. Enough to air out clipper, enough to definitely be dangerous, but everything's now running off a of CAN bus. So I got that wired up. Um, didn't have too much trouble with the little connectors. I mean, I had a little bit of trouble, like, I ripped one out and had to recrimp it, but whatever. Um, yeah, I'm gonna tidy up the wiring, but there you go.